I'm going home to my city by the bay. So, sweetie, you're, you're all set? I'm all set. All right, well, it seems that, uh, I don't know, some people are saying that it's, the flight is supposed to be leaving at 7.30, but on the board it is 9 o'clock. It says yeah, flight 186. Yeah, but they said there were flights at, not, at 7.30. Those guys that work here said it, so I think it is 7.30. So we're in a quandary. We don't know if it's 7.30 or 9 o'clock. We're hoping for 7.30, and we're on our way out west. Sweetie, where are we going? San Francisco, the rice of only treat. How is the uh, accommodation so far? There's no movie here. There's no TV in here. So what do people do for six hours? They're going to do what I'm going to do. Night night. Sleep, yes. Yeah. It's a full flight. Two fair requires to all guests, including those who have been vaccinated, to wear a mask over their nose and mouth while on the air. To fasten your seatbelt, place the flat end into the buckle, tight by pulling on the strap and unbuckle by lifting on the top. Here we are in beautiful San Francisco. You can see part of the Oakland San Francisco Bay Bridge and you can see Maria. And right up here is the famous Russian Hill where the cars zig and zag in eight directions. It's completely amazing. So going down Lombard Street, a Russian hill. And imagine people live in these places. I don't even know how they, where they park their car. It must take them 20 minutes to get out of here. It is a wicked street. And there's Koi Tower. Oh, there's some kind of weird bird, too. And a weird bird. In the distance, Alcatraz. Big hill. We, ooh, really big hill. I'd love to do what Steve McQueen did in Bullet, but. Uh, Whatever it is, don't do it. <laughs> Sure you keep him in a video. Why? Because he was just really weird. 
That was the end of our first day. We were really tired. It was a long day. And we stayed at the Maple Tree Inn in Sunnyvale, California, Silicon Valley. Next morning, we were up and about. Once again, after an 11-year hiatus filled with <laughs> divorce, finding a new love in my life, we now go over as far on the west coast of America as you can, the mighty Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> to the right is the uh, San Francisco Bay. To the left is the Pacific Ocean. And this bridge is in mighty need of a paint job. It is filthy. Probably from uh, the Klingon ship going past it in Star Trek. Eleven years ago was the first time I was using a GPS on my iPhone 4 and could not find the Muir Woods. Let's hope we do not have a repeat performance of that today. Well, we did make it to Muir Redwoods. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that reservations had to be made. I don't remember making reservations 11 years ago, but I'm usually meticulous on these things, but unfortunately not this time. So we drove up to beautiful Petaluma and then Bodega Bay. Jeffrey, finally. Oh my goodness. Good to meet you, Mark. Jeffrey Grove. We're in downtown Petaluma. We came all the way from New York. Marie is at the, at the camera. And this is the first time meeting a Facebook friend face to, to face. face. Right, right. <laughs> and, 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 and it's unbelievable. And you know, you know where we first met? That's right. It was on. Um, it was on uh, YouTube. It was on. It was on YouTube about music, of course. Right, Hammer Music. Hammer music. It was a, it was a, a medley by this MWC or WMC, and they had done uh, some nice, uh, nice stuff with James Bernard. And then you said that uh, you you chimed in. Obviously, this wasn't real time, but you chimed in and and kind of introduced it. You know. Jimmy Bernard, if I may call him Jimmy, was a chum of yours. Yeah. That you also had done your own mini recreations. And then you were so nice and kind to send me. You sent me like a nine-minute suite from Curse of Frankenstein. A love theme from the Gorgon. All Lucy music from, from Dracula. And then you did a six-minute piece of Trek to Castle Dracula from, which I love that piece from uh, from Dracula, this is from the grave. But the, the crazy thing is, you, you did it all by ear. Even though you knew James Benoit, who had, who had his well, I had I had the Dracula chord written right. down. Right. Okay. So that was it. Right. That was it. And then, and then David Huckbill's book had those little uh, snippets in there of certain things. So I could, ah, that's the chord I need for that. Wow. And wow. then I could figure out from there, kind of. But still, when you listen to the new Dracula, Curse of Frankenstein CD, I got so much wrong. Uh, you know what? It's you know you know I gotta say I do love it. I do love that CD. But the fact of the matter is, this some first of all I don't like the concert ties. I don't like the I like I like the cues by them by themselves. But I don't think it's I like the, the, the I mean I know you didn't do the main title, but I just didn't think it was as ferocious. No, I no. just think that your ending no. is is the, the reason best. I didn't do the main title is I couldn't make it ferocious enough. <laughs> and I went, well, this is just not working, so just don't do it. <laughs> Just do it. And then, and then, of course, we we got friends on on Facebook, and then, and that was like 2015, and all of a sudden, there was another Facebook friend 
Gitano Melopante, I believe I'm saying his name right. I've always asked myself, is it Gitano or Gitano? Oh, yeah, you're right. Gitano or Gitano? I think I don't know. Yeah, yeah, well, and then, of course, we became friendly with the great David Huckville, who wrote the, the, the book about James Bernard. And, of course, Gitano started the film music mini group, and David was so nice to uh, give... Uh, Gitano, the uh, original scores that James Bernard right. wrote, and started doing scores, and 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 Gitano, I'm, oh my God, I mean, he, he just hit it, hit it. I mean, he also could he has put together scores uh, like the the Abominable Snowman that he did by ear, unbelievable. Yeah, well, that's when I found out that uh, uh, Witching Time, when right? Witching Time, right. I went, I can't believe this entire time, I was adding an extra note. To the doddle doddle dee, da dum bum da dum. But I went da dum bum bum da dum. But you know what? What, what I loved is when you said when he was doing Dracula has risen from the grave, he, you 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 said because obviously you couldn't hear the music through the thunder and everything. You'll see what I got wrong. But you know what? You were so right in the way you. It, it just you know, it, it was something that he might have done. Yeah, that's yeah, right. and, it, and he yeah, kind of that. kind of did. Yeah, yeah, and it just uh, unbelievable that you did all of all of that stuff. That and part great. of my wanting to do that is uh, I had this feeling that if you really want something, because I wanted want the music right. or the music, if I if you want something, then do your version of it and put it out there, and then find out if there's any other interest. Right. Well. Yes, there was interest between us. And Absolutely. And the rest of it. Yeah. And, and then um, when Guy did those, the, it showed how much extra music there was that hadn't been recorded. Right, right. And that's enough for any uh, record label to go, well, now there's a real reason to put Oh, yeah, out. Dracula has been great. You must have been about five minutes of and, music. And James, so was... James Bernard did not remember um, a lot of stuff like Kirsten Frankenstein, he did not remember all that lyrical stuff that went under the Baron and Paul the teacher. Right, right, right. Because, because it was, yeah. And if yeah. you want to remember that, because right. I said, why don't you do Kirsten Frankenstein? And he said, uh, well, I don't think there's enough there. You know, well, there certainly was enough there. But uh, anyway, we're, uh, we're in Petaluma today, and we just had, this was just a remarkable uh, thing just meeting, uh, meeting his Jeffreyness and then seeing, and seeing the, the Halloween house, which was great. And uh, we'll definitely, we'll definitely come back, Jeffrey. I'm so glad that you invited us. Well, maybe we invited ourselves. I don't know. But this <laughs> was the difference. I would just say it's kismet, and there's nothing you can do about that. Right? <laughs> Thank you so much. Alrighty. Well, behind us is. Bodega Bay, and we're at the and at the Thai restaurant, seafood restaurant. And this is the restaurant that they use in Alfred Hitchcock's *The Birds*, where they're sitting inside and the seagulls go crazy and start uh, start uh, tearing up the place. But, but this you know, is right, right here by us right now. I don't see a seagull. Uh, no, not yet, anyway. But <laughs> this was the actual uh, location, and it's it's uh, sunset. And now okay. we're gonna have a nice meal and it is freezing out here it's really cold and i'm gonna go back in the gift shop <laughs> of San Francisco. It's right here behind the camera.
esta noche te vas a beber. Qué difícil tener que aguantarme sin que sientan que yo no me quiero. here about 11 years ago with the kids and Maria and I came here tonight. How was it, sweetie? It was, it was really good. I had uh, pasta prima vera. First it looks like it was just this tiny bit and and the, it was a dish, but in the center it's a bowl. So everything was down in that bowl. So after you take it all out and mush it all together, you have like this whole big dish full that I actually shared some with Mark because it was just too much for me to eat. That's me. Awesome. Yes. And over here, we have Fisherman's Wharf. What a concept. And back there in the, in the background is Koi Tower. I left my heart in San Francisco. High on a hill It calls to me To be where little cable cars Climb halfway to the stars The morning fog may chill the air. I don't care, my love waits there in San Francisco. Above the blue and windy sea, no one is, but I have left when she feels me. You can all see it if you like. You have the right room to turn around so you can all take your picture. Go ahead, get out your phones, take your picture. <laughs> Give you about 20 yeah. seconds. Take your picture. Go ahead. Do your thing. Can I take a selfie?
inside. 